Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content or I do makeup content and today I eat like a Brazilian nut before and feels like I have it all, all around my mouth. And okay, today I'm going to do a look with one of the multi-chromes, multi-chromes, multi-chromes that I bought from Lethal. This one, can't remember the name now. Um, Proxima, Proxima. And um, this one, and I want to do a look with that today. And I took out some other shades that I have from Lethal. I don't think I would use this pink, pinky purple one. I think I will use this one, this one, and the black one and do like a really dark half cut crease and then put the multi-chrome over the black maybe a little bit and just see how that <laughs> will look. So I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we can hop into this video. So I will take this shade, I think it's Willow from uh, the Memento palette, but you can buy it as a single. I'm not completely sure, but I think it's the name or I will write it down in the description. And then I will go in with a black one that is called um, Transmutation. So yeah, I will just start and I don't know what to talk about today. I just really, really, really wanted to try the multi-chrome because I did try the one in the Berlin 89 palette and I was like amazed and I bought this one as well so I was like okay I do really really want to try this but I don't know what to do for kind of a video and I am going to try to find some tag videos that I can do at the same time when I'm putting on my makeup but I haven't come that far yet I'm sorry <laughs> but I just haven't uh, planning in me it's not that good but I want to and I think it would be good for me if I could start to plan like my channel better and what I want to do on my channel and uh, yeah because sometimes it's like this I just sit down I really want to do a makeup look and then I sit down and I don't know what to talk about and I should actually not do a video today I shouldn't record today I should actually start to edit things but it's so I'm just in the period now when I think it's so boring to edit my videos but uh, I need to do that to be able to post something so I sh should really like just do it. I think I want to deepen down this crease. This is the Memento palette. This was one of the six pans and I actually I don't know if this is going to be some deep and down or if it's just going to be maybe I should take this one it is called yeah th the question is now I think it's remnant I don't know I'm going to take that on a smaller brush and take it in my crease and how do you feel now when the new start has, new start, the new year has started? I think it's so hard on work because I'm typing like the date of the day and then I'm like, is it 2021? 2022? It's really hard to like get a grip of which year it is. But for me that is born in 89 I could like agreeing on it being 2012 maybe I'm okay with that 
but 2022 it is so so strange and now i'm going in with a black one and as normal i'm going to try to not have too much of this and i really just want to use the multi-chrome shade and i don't know because now i have started my what i'm trying to have as a no buy and uh, yeah that means that i shouldn't be buying anything this year and in december i did discover multichromes what was <laughs> am i like stupid i shouldn't look into those kind of things before a no buy i don't know why i did it but what is done is done and uh, Okay, now we're going to see is this dark enough for what I want. And I did talk a little bit about in a video that came up sometime before this that I'm doing like a new thing at work. Uh, one of my colleagues who's he is on vacation and like parent leave for 10 weeks so I'm doing his things now and I don't know how I feel about it it feels like for the whole day that I have forgotten something to do the things I do at work in normal cases I have been doing every damn day for 8 years so doing something new I don't know if I like it or if I dislike it. It always feels like I've forgotten something. Like the end of the day I'm trying to like figure out what have I forgotten to do. And so far nothing has gone wrong what I know of. Knock on wood maybe. But we will see. And I have changed my working hours. I can't remember if I talked about that. So I'm starting 45 minutes later. And I actually miss to start at 6 o'clock in the morning. Who am I? I don't know. Okay, now it's time for the multichrome. And we're going to see how this looks on my eye. I did fell in love with the one from... The Berlin 89 palette and that was a darker one I guess it was a black based one and this is going to be pink turquoise and gold so I guess it's going to be a little bit lighter but I thought maybe that can look really cool together with the black one And I don't know if I am as in love with this one as I was with the other one. But I think I want to have it a little bit over the matte black. Yeah. Yes, that looks really good. I wonder if you can see a shit. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you just have to trust me that it looks good. I don't know if I want to go in with more black. Maybe just if I dip it. Tap it off and try to. Okay, now I'm taking this multichrome the whole way all over my lid. And you know what I'm missing? I'm missing a mirror a little bit closer. Okay, you know what? I do like it. I... I I do. Is it as deep as I wanted it to be? The look? Maybe not, but am I mad about it? I don't think so. I actually think that I really like this. So I'm going to try to do the same on this side and put it all over 
my lids over the black one as well. I do actually like this. I just need as normal to have like my face done and my lower lash take away the fallout. But I actually do really like it. It shifts from green to gold to pink. I hope that you can see something. So yeah, I'm going to do my face, take away the falls, do my base makeup, and then I come back with the finished look. And so far, so good. So far, I do really like this. I can't stop staring at my own eyeshadow. So yeah, <laughs> just fix my face and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used is it Peach Fuzz from Colourpop. On my lips, I took LH Cosmetics Dusty Pink. Yes. And yeah, maybe I should have paired it with a darker lip, but I think I do like this lip to it. So, this is my look with the Multichrome from Lethal. I do really like this look. And this is all the colors that I did use. I will leave them down in the description. But I do really like it and I really like how it looks on top of the black shade. I'm so happy that I just took it all over my lid. And I think it looks really cool. And I'm really happy about this. And sometimes I try to imagine how I want the look to look like. And sometimes it it's better or sometimes it's worse but th this time I actually think it's better than I expected it to be so I'm really happy about that and it's going to be fun to experiment more with this maybe just try to put it all over my lid without any other eyeshadow maybe take something in my crease something really really light and then put this all over my lid or do a halo eye maybe i don't know but it's going to be fun to see and more discover because i haven't played with multi-chromes a lot before so it will be fun to see what more i can do with it so yeah i guess that is all for this video today i don't know what this was for kind of video but i do hope that you like it and i'm just I don't know what to say. So I really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I'm going to try to start edit now. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yeah I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!